Hi friends, Hi. this is Caitlin. Hold on one second. There we go. Sorry about that. I had an echo. Um, this is Caitlin, and I am very happy to be back with you for Pink and Main. We are on our night two of sneak peek week. We're a day early um, versus normal because I'm going to be traveling to Go Wild, which is a large planner conference this weekend. And I'm not going with Pink and Main, but Pink and Main will be there represented by uh, Mommy Lay herself. Um, with Little Bits Box, which is so exciting. So we are here to do another round of sneak peeks. I'm going to show you guys the whole rest of the release. And last night we did a poll when everybody voted in the comments on YouTube and Facebook. And I went back through and the new foilables won by a landslide. Um, so we are going to play with some new foilables. I have all of my foils here. <laughs> I have all of the new foilable panels here. Um, so we're just gonna play and see what happens and make some easy, quick cards. We're probably gonna get four to six cards done just because there, there are so many new foilables and the process is so easy that I figured why not. And then I'll walk you guys through the rest of the release. So I see a ton of people already checking in um, we are starting to get to the point where it's going to be hard to do individual this, but we'll try to do it real quick. Um, so I see Melissa checking in. Happy birthday to you. It is Melissa's birthday. Um, Annette's checking in from Montreal. We got Virginia, Judith. Um, let's see. Connie's here. Linda. Uh, Valencia is checking in from Ohio, Maureen from Utah, Maria in New York, um, Barbara's here, Gloria's hanging out from Florida. She's just down the street from Pink and Main. I love that. I got to get there one day. Um, Bernadine's here, Lori, Jensette from Minnesota, um, Rhonda's here from Sarasota. That's not too far. Um, Let's see, let's see. I lost my place. Uh, Mary's checking in from Jersey, Annette out in Wisconsin, Kelly's in California, and I think we made it through, I think that's everybody. Um, I did see multiple people checking in in the replay crew, and I appreciate you. Um, <laughs> it looks like Kathy's checking in from uh, Spokane, Washington. Um, Dawn's here. I, I saw Dawn in the replay crew yesterday in the comments. Um, Susan's here. Sharon from Arizona. Thank you guys so much. Um, Jeanette, uh, Michelle from Alaska. We have such a big group from so many places. Um, I am going to go ahead and switch this over. And we're going to get things started. So a quick recap of what we did last night this is our um card that we made last night we did some of we foiled one of the new cut up sentiments foilable cut ups we did some ink blending and die cutting with these larger butterflies and we used a four part stencil to make this beautiful butterfly background and then tonight we will be playing with our new foilable panel so let me get this plugged in and while it's warming up, I'll show you those new foilables. Um, oh, happy early birthday to Barbara. See that in the comments, Beverly's checking in. Um, Cindy's here, checking in from Canada. I'm assuming because of that little Canadian flag emoji. I love that. All right, so let's go to three. Um, so I have three new sets of foilable panels here to share. So this first one is called Hello Friends Flowers. And I believe it's eight of the same. Yes. So you get eight of this beautiful Hello Friend mug with the flowers and the butterflies. And I think what I want to do with this one is play around with using multiple foils for the one thing. So like the mug, then the flowers, and then the butterflies. I think that could be fun. So we're gonna try that out. 
I'm warning you now, I did not pre-pick any uh, foils. So we're just gonna have to like wing it, pun intended with our butterflies um, and figure it out as we go. So this next one is called Pretty Wings and there's four designs in here. So we have two that are the same design, but a positive and a negative, right? One has the butterflies in black and one has them in white. And then we also have this pattern with the same idea. And I love this butterfly because he looks like they all look like they have the little eyes that butterflies have to keep birds from eating them. So you get two of each of those designs. Okay, and so I was thinking we would do one of those. Maybe we'll do that and like that. Like I said, we're gonna have, we're gonna be able to really do a bunch of these. Um, Helen's checking in from Pittsburgh. Love Pittsburgh. We have, this one has a special place in my heart because my nine to five is with Bloom Daily Planners. And so this one is called Live Life. And it says live life in full bloom. And it has this beautiful arch, these beautiful flowers. You get eight of that design. And I just think that is absolutely so beautiful. And literally a whole card. All of these that we're using, I mean, the backgrounds, we would just add a sentiment, right? But for the most part, panel-wise, this is a full card. That's why they're going to be so easy. Yes, Helen, all of these are new. These are all coming out this Friday, um, April 19th. And I'll be showing more sneak peeks as we go along too with the whole release. Um, so this one is called Big Butterflies. And you get four of each of these two beautiful big butterflies. So it's kind of fun, I think, that these are um, like landscape where this one is portrait. I think it's nice to have the combination or the options, I guess. Um, and I just, I love these. The detail is so beautiful. So we'll do one of each of those. Cause I just wanna see what they look like. Ooh. And I think the butterflies could also be one that would be fun to do like black through the center and then a foil sheet on either side. So I think we're gonna we're gonna play around. Let's see. These three will do some foil piecing. I don't know if that's really the right term. And then these three will do just like one solid sheet of foil. So I do have my little transfer sleeve. I've been doing a really good job of keeping it right here next to my um, my desk, my setup. Linda's loving the butterflies. Um, Barbara said, there's so much you can do. I agree. I think these are so fun. And then let me just grab, oh, this is like the silliest little thing to be excited about. But Pink and Mean is going to start carrying um, an adhesive eraser. <laughs> if you haven't used these before, they're literally a lifesaver. It um, is bumpy and a, not sticky like um, like glue, but a little bit tacky, a little bit sticky like silicone kind of. And um, all you have to do is rub that onto some like dried glue on your project and it will remove it. So if you've been needing an adhesive eraser, you can now get one from the Pink and Mean store as of Friday. All right, let's let's get to i think i have some new foils the problem is i combined them with other new foils so some of these i think are from march oh, that's really long let me look really quick because i don't want to tell you the wrong thing subscriptions foil of the month And then foils. Okay, I got it. So this pink, yellow, silver ombre is the foil of the month subscription. 
from April, which then usually becomes a stocked item with the new release, okay? The new one that's coming out on Friday that I don't believe anyone has seen yet is this, which is white foil, shiny white foil, which I think is so fun and would be really cool to do white on top of one of those ombre full sheet toners sheets. So we might have to like play around with that soon, if not tonight. Then from last month, we have this really fun green that's different than any other green that we have had so far. And then we also have gold stars, which I love. So those are the newest. But you guys know, as a proud member of the Pink and Main Design team, we get samples of all the foil. So your foil will come in a much longer piece than any of mine um, because I just get little samples. So I think the pink violet stars is beautiful. I think we should use that. I want to play with like or pull at least some greens for something. I don't know. Maybe not greens. Now I'm questioning myself. Um, I don't want red. This could be really pretty. So like teal, very wing teal, like that. If anyone has a specific <laughs> foil they would like to see used, uh, I can definitely try. Oh, I haven't used this shattered pink yet. That could be really pretty for something. We have the rainbow, silver, pink, blue. Oh, the clear rainbow. Hearts, gold, red. Oh, we have that like oil slick one. That was always one of my favorites. Uh, yeah, Amy has <laughs> so many foils. Um, hey, Missy, I did go back. I found your message, Missy. I don't actually have that um, interactive die. So I'm going to work on getting that from, uh, from the store, like from Pink and Main. And I will work that into our rotation. Um, so I think the lilac one that has the scratchy look. Oh, the um, tinsel. I think I like the rainbow stripes too. Let's see. Um, so yes, let's see. I did see that the water, you said it was like a waterfall. It's like the drop pull down one. I will. I will figure that out. We want this one, Melissa, the lavender pencil. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, but we need like mug colors. That's something we haven't really used. Oh, this could be really pretty too. Right, that like pastel ombre, grab that. Let's start with that. And I won't completely put these away. I'll just kind of like roll them. I try to roll them so they don't get creases. But as you saw from my lavender um, <laughs> tinsel, doesn't always work out for me just because it's so many pieces at this point. But I just keep them stored in one of the cheer foil tubes. And for the most part, as long as I'm being patient, that works. Okay. Let's start out with a good like full sheet, single sheet design. All right, I wanna use this for one of these full butterfly. Yeah. 
I think I'm going to use it for the black because I think the um, I think the this is dark enough that the white is going to really shine through. So let's grab a microfiber towel. We're going to dust off our foilable panel. We're also going to dust off the inside of our carrier sheet, just in case. We're going to use my little rotary cutter again. Cut my foil. My new favorite, very random thing that I've decided I like using my fabric rotary cutter. All right, we're going to flip over our foil and we're going to dust that off too. And we're going to put these pretty side up for both. I do like to flip it over just to make sure that everything is covered. Right. We're gonna go see it then. Um, Misty, you know what? I have not used the cracked ice, that clear one, because I haven't ever really been sure, like if it's gonna show up enough. To me, that one would show up better on a um like the reverse image of it on a full toner sheet, it would show up better too. Yeah, no, I know which one you're talking about. It's, um, I had it in that stack. It's literally clear, but with the shattered, like holographic pattern. Let's see how these go. And we can see about adding that in. Hey, Elizabeth. Thanks for checking in. And I see Jessica's here. Um, Sherry loves teal. So we might have to bring in some teal as well. All right, let's let that cool down. We'll get the next one going. Um, you know what, now that we said that, I have to try this cracked ice or shattered ice. What I was probably... Yeah, I don't know. Um, and I want to do it with one of our owner sheets, but like a colorful one. I feel like it needs to be dark to really show up and pop. Maybe this ombre. This is so pretty. So let's grab that. I don't know what it's going to do to this white one, if it's going to really stand out. But when we use the reverse on our ombre, I think it'll be really beautiful. So let's give it a go, see what happens. Well, no, we should do the opposite, right? We should do the opposite. We'll do a, we'll do a seventh one because it should be the solid black to start with. And that way, when we put it on our background, our butterflies are the shattered. Okay, let's find it in the stack. For anybody who hasn't seen it before, the one we're talking about. I really need to start like dividing these up by like colors and metallics, <laughs> uh, plain and textured, I don't know, something. I need some sort of organization brought to this chaos because it is getting a little, a little out of hand. There it is. So the one we're gonna try out is this guy. So you can see that rainbow holographic, but it's completely clear. You know what I am worried about is how am I supposed to know which side? Okay, 
the toners on. Does anybody know that? I think it's that way just because it feels like it wants to roll that way, but I could be very wrong. Um, Jessica, you can ink blend on to the foilable panels, but the ink does not show up the same as it would on regular cardstock. Because it's a shiny paper, the ink can't absorb into the paper like a normal cardstock. So you just get a very either like muted or just like a different effect from it, but you can add ink to, to change it up. Oh, Missy, yeah, that's what I, <laughs> Virginia said, trial and error. Okay, I'm going to, if we're going with trial and error as the solution, I am going to, if I can find one, course none of those are like sharpies that's what I'm looking for is like a little permanent marker whatever those are just like alcohol and getting it right I'm gonna take a Copic and put an A actually that's stupid because an A is a sick whatever we'll remember all right and we're gonna try it this way and if it burns and crashes, we'll just flip this to the other side. All right, we're gonna get this into our here your sheet. We're gonna. This is also going to be pretty on the black. I take the back on the white background. I don't know so much, but I think on the black background it's going to be really pretty. But let's do our peel and reveal for our first background. So stinking beautiful. So that's that pastel rainbow ombre. I absolutely love that. And I think it is just dark enough that the white butterfly outlines stand out perfectly. All right, we're gonna let that cool. I think we might be good. Put that right side up. In the meantime, we also now have that reverse. So now that we have that white toner sheet, that would be beautiful to use. This is going to be a slippery soil. I'm going to want to do all of these. What are we at? 24 minutes? We have time. Let's break out that white toner sheet one more time. We played with it for a second yesterday. Um, let's use it one more time for anybody who missed it. So we now have white toner sheets coming out from Pink and Main. And to me, this is the exact scenario that, that these toner sheets were made for. Like this is my ideal situation for using one of these. White sheets. Oh, no. Very strange. <laughs> the carrier sheet ate my toner, or ate my... But it did work, kind of. Missy, maybe that's... Maybe that's what you were, that's what you meant. It's like um, bubbly. 
it's still you can see it's still definitely transferred and i think on the black background that looks so cool but the reverse image looks very strange it looks bubbly is the only way i can explain it like it's not smooth you can't even really see them i just don't think that that's correct and especially because I've never had foil stick to my carrier sheet like that before. So let's flip this and try one more time. And if that side comes out crazy, then we'll I'll just have to talk to Michelle because you can see my A is flipped. You guys know this is why I love our lives. It lets me make those mistakes and experiment and we can troubleshoot and problem solve all together. Get that through. And we have this guy. We'll just start getting them all lined up and ready to go. Who's next? I want to put this or the reverse of whatever comes out next under one of these ombres. I think we'll just stick with that really pretty sunset ombre. Can you even see? You can kind of see the butterflies, but you see how they look like splotchy? So strange. All right, let's see what happens when that dries. Oh yeah, no, that fully, <laughs> we were right the first time. Okay, well, there went that carrier sheet. It like reverse peeled. Okay, so I don't, maybe it was the temperature. I'm not sure what happened that made those butterflies splotchy. I'm going to have to talk to Michelle and see with her product knowledge what's up with that because that is definitely wrong. Elizabeth, the carrier sheet is just this plastic thicker um, sheet that you use to hold your foil and your foilable or your toner sheet or whatever you're working with to send it through the machine. Um, I also have used wax paper before, and that's worked just fine. Um, <laughs> Missy said, I guess I can line my window with it. Yep, you probably could. Probably could. All right, we'll let that cool off. Let's get these guys through. This is our white toner sheet that we're going to try out with our reverse image. Okay, so I did take all of that foil off and it does look like you can kind of see the butterflies on it, but like this is way prettier. So if I were you and I already had this, I would stick with really dark or black. I think this is so pretty for these black background um, panels. So we're going to say these two are our two so far. Now we've got this guy. Let's let that one dry. Dry, cool down. Um, where were we? 
Let's jump. this one and I think that would be really pretty in this rainbow this like striped rainbow I am going to trim this down a little bit because we could do some sentiments with this little piece tiny scraps of foil I'll count is a foil kit better than the regular kit? Do you mean like for the subscription, Elizabeth? That is so thinking pretty. So now we have our positive and our negative. Oh, I like that so much. And we could just trim that down. Next, we're going to go in with that live life in full bloom with that fun striped pencil rainbow on top. Um, they're just different. So the foil kit gets you um, a little bit more bang for your buck, for sure. You get the new foil before everybody else. You get um, a discount on it. <laughs> see my carrier sheet looks so pretty um and then the regular subscription kits are for like stamped images um or stamps and dies to use so it just depends if you do a lot of foiling i think the subscription is nice because every month without having to think about it or worry about it you just get like a little gift from your past self um and I mean, who doesn't love that? You know what I did forget is I wanted to do the black and we have black foil and we didn't pull that out. Because I've always thought like, when am I gonna really use all of this black foil? I think we've used it like once before around Halloween. But then I was like, when am I gonna be able to use more of this up? I think today is not that we're going to use it all up, but we're definitely going to get to use some. And I think I want to cut this pretty small. I'm going to use scissors because I want a little bit more accuracy. I'm fine with it going a little bit onto the wings because I think that will look, see, but I want it to go onto those antenna. To not you, the smaller antenna. Yes, you do. Okay, so that's for that one. We're gonna cut this one with a little bit of like a Y shape to it. Right, like it's a little thicker at the top than the bottom. There you go, Misty's got you. Elizabeth, she said, um, one of the, or on the foil subscription, you get the new foil, a small new foilable and a bigger foilable that come out with the new release. So you just get it earlier um and elizabeth if you want both you can sign up for both you can sign up for everything if you want um helen said she loves the foil book foilable kit um and barbara said she got her olo markers i did see that there's a pre-sale on the website right now for the new like olo marker colors that are coming so if you're an Olo fan or a coloring fan, make sure you check those out. I am very nervous to not tape this. And I'm also very nervous to tape this. So I'm going to tape this with Heffy Doodles tape because it's like 
the lowest tack tape I've ever used in my entire life. And I'm just hoping that it holds it in place enough, but doesn't have any extra tack that would like, I don't know, do something weird. All right, let's feel this guy. Oh, that's so pretty. Live life in full bloom with that kind of like beautiful rainbow. And then again, same thing. We have this. We could put it on black or white. I think white would be obviously beautiful. Perfect timing. I think for our new white toner sheets, I can't literally do all of these on the white. We will run out of time, so we're going to keep moving. But that one is so pretty. Um, I want one of these with the pink, and I think the other will do with that lavender that Missy requested. Or no, Melissa requested. So let's go there. You know, I'm gonna, we're going to pull out yet another way to cut these because I really want to make sure that I'm getting the right piece for this. So I'm going to take that little spot that I just clipped and put it in my little wired paper trimmer because that is going to allow me to get a nice straight line. We can check to see how wide that was. We'll just get some because it can hang over. I just want it to be straight so it sits up against our um, our little body line. These are way too long. I wasn't even thinking about that. Seriously, it's like how many, how many cutting utensils can keep them use in one line? I'm so sorry. It's just so much easier to use that one one-handed. Hey, Kathleen, don't be bummed. We still have plenty more to look at and do. And you can always go back and watch the replay to see all of the silly things that I've done so far. I want these, what I'm trying to do is kind of tuck the pink layer under that black layer just a little bit at the bottom. So like up where that tape is, it's the same side. And then down at the bottom, it's a little bit V'd in. A little bit too. There we go. So we're gonna try that and see what happens. Pretty sides are all up, all the way across. And I'm pretty sure somebody had asked a while ago that said, asked, um, how could you with the stickies or like the some of our foilables how could you do multiple colors at multiple parts this is how i would do it and some designs are going to be easier than others some are going to be super hard um but i do think that piecing your foil like this can be so fun right jenna <laughs> said fingers crossed literally um i've seen people do this i haven't actually done it myself so we are Per usual, uh, we're just winging it. We're going to figure it out. For anybody who's jumping in, I see lots of new numbers. We have our Live Life in Full Bloom that we foiled. We have our black background butterflies. And then we have our positive and negative with our new white toner sheets. 
of this really fun kind of eyeball butterfly. Okay, well, those stuck to, oh, they stuck to the, uh, that foil that is now stuck to my carrier sheet. So we have each side, sorry, each side of the butterfly wings, which that could be cool to foil like on the edge of your cardstock, right? Like on the edge of the card, like that. And then our little black body in the middle. I love that so much. That's so pretty. And granted, like you could probably also do that and just not do the middle. Now that I'm thinking about it, that feels like a duh moment. Or you could do, you know, a different color if you had light pink and dark pink. Let's not do this side. I know it's crazy because I, I just cut that piece of, um, but let's see if it looks any different. I bet it won't, but I've said that before and then stuff's looked completely different. So let's test that out. Oh, I like that. Let's, oh, we said we're gonna do the purple lavender tinsel. So for this one, we need, let's do it the real way, shall we? We need two and a half inches. Oh, I love that you guys are like being a better price. It's so cute. Oh yeah, like a gatefold card. Absolutely, with the like halves. The split butterfly wings, since they're already split, you could definitely use them for a, a gatefold. Okay, we are going to have to trim these down. We're also going to have to be mindful to not have them go over the antenna. Okay, right. perfect. One side. So I'm just holding that in place. And cutting a diagonal line up and then across. now I'm going to have to have like a bin. Oh, I just put that to the side. That's a little piece I need, isn't it? Where did you go? But the good thing that I, we know now is that that heffy doodle tape definitely did not mess anything up. So... I feel good about using it here. Um, Sherry asked, is there a way to use foils without a laminator or a mink? There is. I cannot promise you it will be as crisp, but you can use double-sided adhesive, either like a sheet of it or double-sided tape. Um, and you can also use something that will stay tacky or sticky. So like we've used our glossy gel and stencil, like spread that through a stencil, let it dry, and then um, put our foil on top. And you can do it with just pressure, with like burnishing it with like a bone folder and going over it. I will tell you that with the tape, it's perfect. You'll get super crisp lines because the tape is where the tape is. But using the bone folder for glossy gel, um, 
it's pretty, but it's not crisp. So it just depends on the design that you're looking for um, and the, the finish that you're hoping for. But it is possible to use the foil without a laminator. Yeah, this, I don't know if you guys can see, but I have like so much stuff stuck to this poor carrier sheet now. All right, our last one that we can prep while that cools down is our little mug. And so this is where I was gonna try to do like the most different things at once. So I'm thinking the pink for these flowers. And we're gonna have to get like real creative. Although I think if we did like the, the butterfly color underneath, it, the pink was just like wouldn't attach to anything. So maybe we'll try that. We're gonna do our butterflies down first. Maybe we'll use some more of this purple just because we have these little scraps now. Right, like that's a butterfly there. And that can be a little better fun. There. It's definitely shiny and foil. If you left it plain, would the black toner stick to the carrier sheet? It did a little bit. It did, Jeanette. I'll show you one more time. That's one of those lines that I just held up. That is the body of the butterfly. A little bit did stick to, not terribly. Um, and I mean, you can kind of see it. So I would say it's worth it if you have or you want the black foil to use the foil instead of um, leaving it plain. Let me see if I can get it to, because you can kind of, there you go, you can kind of see how it left those little marks on the body from leaving it plain. But if you feel like, you know, you don't need another, you don't need any black foil in your life, then you could do that and probably just go over it with like a black marker or black Copic Sharpie or something. And it would probably be fine. I do prefer the way that the black foil turned out. I think it's nice and seamless. And I really do like the little bit of like ombre that we got from the body out to the wings. I think that that's pretty. So if I had to do it again, given the fact that I have them all already, I would do the black foil. But it's always fun to test them out and try with you guys. And I do still think that these are so beautiful. The detail that you get on those is just amazing. Okay, so we have that I don't think I want to worry about the um how am I going to do this I don't think I want to worry about the whole mug being cut out but maybe like rounding it a little would be cool to try. Just kind of like with a pencil. I feel like I'm more like denting it than anything. Kind of just like lightly scratched that edge. Hmm, yeah, that'll work, right? That's white anyway. Okay, so we're gonna pop that there. And then our mug will do in that teal. Someone said they like the teal. We'll just add that right across that bottom. Okay. 
This will be our last one. And then we'll do a little overview and I will share the rest of those sneak peeks with you guys. So if you've made it this long, just hold out a few more minutes. I appreciate you all so much. I'm just so excited and nervous to see what this, this one does. Let me straighten up a little bit. I have foil literally everywhere. And then we'll do, I'll show you guys all of the other things that are coming tomorrow. No, yeah, I'm used to doing this on Thursdays. All of the new things that are coming out on Friday with the new release. Jeanette, me too. I'm glad that you like seeing um, the piecing. I've also been too afraid to do it on my own. So helping you guys and sharing it, sharing it with you was apparently exactly what I needed to get over that fear. Nothing like doing it in front of, you know, a ton of people on the internet live to, uh, to break you with some fear. But I think it's fun. And I, like, what's the worst thing, right? The carrier sheet is obviously still working. Has it seen better days? Yes. But that's the only thing that really went wrong. I still have that pretty butterfly panel, right? I still have this. I still have this butterfly who I think is still beautiful and a little sentiment right there. And you'd never know the difference anyway. So I hope that me being a silly goose on here helps you guys to not be nervous to play because I think that's the best part about what we do. All right, let's, oh my goodness. That's so, like it made a very, it made the hard edge line with the pink. So I guess maybe be careful. Oh, sorry, I have it down. Be careful of how you trim if you're going to trim, but I don't mind it. And the butterflies under the pink worked perfectly. So just the line in between the two came out a little different right? Like this little edge right here. It has like that little black line where the layers didn't quite meet up. But I think that looks pretty fun to me. We have the pink, we have the purple, we have our teal. I would, I'd be fine sending that to somebody. I sure would. Definitely might take a little bit of practice but I think it's worth it for sure. And this teal foiled really beautifully. Like that's so smooth. So, all right, there are our fun little panels. We got a little bonus panel <laughs> in all of that too. And then let's go over some of the other new release items that we did not take a look at yesterday. If you missed yesterday's live, please go back and check it out. You can see the replay. Um, if you want to, um, so, sorry, really quick pause. Jeanette asked, or Janet asked, can you run a card through twice? I'm pretty sure that what I heard is that once you put the card through once, it activates that toner and then you can't put it through. I mean, you can, but that when you put it through a second time, it's not going to take your foil. So just how with this black one that we left plain, we put that toner through plain and now it has all of these bumps and it's like the toner got activated even though there was no foil. So now if we put it through again, it's not going to hold the foil. So that's why it's better to piece all of your foils in at once and send it through one time because I'm 99.999% sure that it's gonna, it's not gonna work or it's gonna work in like one or two little spots and not evenly. So once I have that answer, we're ready to go. I'm very happy about that. I do remember uh, Michelle talking about that when they 
Boils first came out. So if you missed yesterday's live, you can go back to see all of those sneak peeks from yesterday. I won't be showing them a second time um, because, you know, I got to keep you guys on your toes. So let's start out with our first um, embellishment that's new. This is our, what are these? Daisy Days Sticky Pearls. So we got a new fun color in our Sticky Pearls. I love those. And they come in three different sizes. I love that too. This is our Mommy Lay Critters that came in um, like second in the votes. So this is called Rainy Day. And it's like the unicorn little companion to our little froggy bear that we had a month or two ago. So you get the little uh, um, unicorn and her raincoat and umbrella. We got some clouds. We get the beautiful rainbow. We have this little unicorn who's just playing in the puddles. Um, and then the sentiments are, when life gives you a rainy day, sing and dance in the puddles, smile and know the rainbow is coming, and there are no rainbows without storms. So I think this works so cute. And then you also get a smiley face and a frowny face for the cloud. And the little splash marks, they're just so sweet. So I love this one. Of course, coordinating dyes and for the sentiments, how Mommy Lay always does for us. So we have that. We'll definitely be coloring that up next week because I love that. These were the dramatic dyes, standalone dyes that did not get voted for. <laughs> I think like two people voted for them. If you're one of the two, I appreciate you. And I'm sorry that you did not, it did not win. This is the butterfly pop-up die. And the way, the reason it's a pop-up is all of the white butterflies that you see cut out and the other butterflies, just the wings cut and the center is solid. So then you can go in with a little um, pokey tool or a little pick and pull up all of those little wings for the pink butterflies. So you get the texture and the die cut all in one in a butterfly shape, which I think is so fun. So we're gonna have to play with that this month too. And then this is heart of flutter dies. So you get a solid heart that you can use just the heart. You can use the heart with the words, you are amazing. And you can use the heart with the butterflies or you can use just the butterflies. So that's what those will look like. The heart with the words and the heart with the butterflies cut out. Then we have, you know, we had to get new stickies. These are the Wings of Whimsy Adhesive Transfer Stickies. So those beautiful stamps, stamped butterflies that we looked at last night and their um, sentiments are available in the stickies. And that also means that if you want, you can get the coordinating dies for the, this set. It's three butterflies because these two are the same shape, these are the same shape, and these are the same shape. So you only need three dies to cut all of these out. Um, the stickies are so fun. It's a fun way to foil that gives you like a little bit more freedom. We also have silver toner sheets to go with our white toner sheets. And on the print, they look gray, but in person, they have like a soft metallic sheen. So that is a full toner sheet. So whatever you foil onto that, you'll see that silver through your design. And then the last stamp set, this guy is called Seasonal Butterflies. And there's a butterfly for pretty much every month, right? So we have snowflakes, hearts for Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, rainbows and rain, I'm guessing like April right? We have flowers. So like April, May, we have under the sea creatures, June, we have stars and stripes, July, we have right back to school, August. Yeah, we'll say August. We have leaves, September, candy corns, of course, October. Um, I'd say leaves and pumpkins. Well, he has a pilgrim hat. So definitely the pumpkins with the pilgrim hat is giving November and then candy canes for December. 
and they all have coordinating dyes. And I think that's just such a fun take. I know somebody who loves butterflies year round and who would appreciate all of these, but how sweet is it for like the teacher in your life? It doesn't even have to be September, right? Like you could just give, make them a card with the school supplies one or whoever you ha love, have that loves the beach. Like these are just so fun for all the time. So seasonal butterflies, big old set. She's she big. Um, and those are all of the new products for the release coming on. Well, this is the second half, I should say, of the new products that are coming out on Friday, April 19th, 2024. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. This was a long one. I appreciate you hanging out with me. I hope that you loved seeing all of these foils. We'll do more votes in the future because I really love having your input. And as always, you can always leave me a comment anytime with a request for product, theme, technique, whatever you want to see coming up. I love taking your requests for that as well. So I hope that you guys have an, an amazing weekend. Please keep your eye out um, on the Pink and Main Instagram on Friday afternoon. There will be an Instagram hop for a chance to win a $50 gift card. That's what it usually is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say $50 gift card. Um, so hop along with us on Friday. I hope you guys love the release so much. I will see you back here next week on Tuesday, and we will play with some more new products then. So stay safe and I'll see you guys soon. And until next time, happy crafting guys. Have a good night.